Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with Ryan. So Ryan, I know this is your first time doing What's Hot. Yep. So this is one of our new uh, fishing guys here. So let's get started. We're gonna start down here. We got a whole bunch of new stuff this week, guys. So we got a lot of stuff from Lunker Hunt and this is where we're gonna get started. All right, so we got a couple uh, restock and new items for hollow body top waters here. We got the Lunker Hunt uh, spider, sunfish prop, turtle, and this one's gonna be, uh, hope you guys are ready for this one, the lizard. So, yep, that thing's massive, but guess what? We'll probably catch some big bass out there. Uh, other than that, we're gonna have some top waters. So Ryan, I know you caught something with that, right? Yeah, so actually, um, on this bait right here, uh, the white one, um, I actually caught my personal best largemouth bass on that bait. Um, so, it's good bait. Uh, so yeah. uh, you can work it like a popper. It kind of um, walks a little bit too. Yeah, and it's going to walk back and forth. Yeah. So it's going to look like an Andrew bait fish on the surface. And who doesn't love some top water lures? Yeah, exactly. They're fun to throw. Uh, oh, yeah. They work great. Especially even rockfish now. So yeah. we've got some new colors like that bone white classic. My personal favorite, that kind of grayish black. Yep. Uh, one of my favorites there. And you fish for white perch a lot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so this is one of those lures for deep water perch fishing or even rockfish. Yep. And here, shows what uh, what that thing does. Um, so this is a newer bait. Um, this head here slides back and forth. Uh, it's going to create a little bit of a unique action. Uh, maybe something the fish have never seen before. And the noise, too, when it's clacking. Yep. yep. So that's from Lunker Hunt, and that's going to be a knocking jig. Uh, like Ryan was saying, different look, different sound especially when you're fishing deeper water. Yep. Most of these here are five eighths of an ounce. So if you're yeah, fishing like a little bit heavier, uh, 10 plus for water, yeah, vertical the, jigging, rockfish will hit these things. So, yeah, for sure. So some different, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing, say staying ahead of, ahead of the game yeah. out there. Yeah. Uh, we got some spoons here from micro spoons. Now they're sucking trout everywhere right now. Right. So this will be a great pack to buy for yourself and keep uh, uh, in the you know trout box. Yeah. Uh, not even just trout. We have shad moving up. So if you're shad fishing and you want to do like a little, what I call a, uh, a little special K rig <laughs> and just put a little inline, yep. a couple, you know, 18 inches of line, put one of these guys and you can cast it out there for shad too. Perch will love them too. And now this little guy here. Yep. we got some new little tiny creature baits. Uh, those are going to be perfect for crappie, hold your pan fish and whatnot. Uh, pretty like really durable plastic on there. It's almost yep. like that uh, elastic stuff. Yep. So that's pretty much what we got from Lunker Hunt here. Uh, let's move up to some local companies. Uh, we got High Octane and let's talk about these torpedo spins. So these are the torpedo spins from High Octane Custom Baits. Um, we have it in three colors. We have chartreuse, pink, and uh, silver color. Um, and with these, the way they work uh, is they you can have, rig them a couple different ways, right? Yeah, you're going to be able to rig them a couple different ways. And one of the most popular ways and one of my most favorite ways is something like this. A little paddle tail. Yep. So you're going to cut that paddle tail off. And that's an old school tackle, by the way. So we're keeping it local there. Yep. And you're going to cut that paddle tail off right about there. And you're going to take this little, it has a screw here. So you're just going to screw it in. And you're going to turn it clockwise until it is that screw is gone into the bait and then you know just throw it out with a normal just jig head on the front tie it to your leader line throw it out cast and retrieve uh you could even jig it oh, yeah. um, but they work great for pickerel you know pickerel bass i mean i've used them for snakeheads uh anything really they're yeah. gonna work great yeah. for most of your mid to even some panfish will hit them too yeah yeah but there's endless ways to rig those things so if you're looking for something to customize some you know favorite lure that you have or something try those out now right. other than that we have some of their finesse chatter baits and some other bus baits now all these guys come with a weedless hook uh, pretty hefty duty hook on their wide offset and the cool thing about it they come with a trailer already so they give you that plastic on there pretty unique uh, unique to the market in the way there's not too many weedless chatter baits so that's one cool thing to have out there now with your bus baits 
they have that also that weedless hook so especially when you're fishing around heavy cover that's going to be great it's going to run through and not get as snagged or have too much you know mucky stuff on it yep and that's a big blade it's going to create a lot of a lot of noise, lot of noise on the surface mm -hmm. and it's going to draw those fish in from a long long way away yeah i mean bass snakehead this is the time of the year so you know try those out now we have some uh new company in here and i will say local company and this is uh snakehead outlaws and we have a whole bunch of their new top water hollow body top water baits we have their little rats their cicadas uh this was one of my favorites here and this is the rat slayer and the reason why is because it will actually sit there on the spot and you can just walk it so while you're sitting there just twitching that rod uh even if it's sitting still that the front of the bait will just kind of swing back and forth which is what I love to do personally to keep that bait around the strike zone of that snakehead. We're not burning baits out there for the northern snakeheads. It's not like we're fishing for both side down south, yep. but they work great. And we got another one here, the Benham, uh, that has a little blade, just your typical hollow body with the skirted um, legs there. So some new, some to try out. And then going back to high uh, octane custom baits, we got the Frogzilla. Uh, we've seen them um, test it out, pretty durable body, and a nice hook on there. Uh, and now what we got over there, some little bus baits, right? So yeah, these are um, Slayer uh, little bus baits. Uh, they have two blades on them. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than your average buzz bait, um, but they'll still work great for snakehead. Oh, yeah, they uh, love the small profile. They also do have a double hook on them. So that's uh, something that's pretty unique. Right, and then we save uh, one of the coolest things for our blast, but here it is. Uh, we got a small batch of the right-handed crazy reels on that baitcaster 7.3 gear ratio. Uh, as you can see, it's got the cool cork handles on there. And I mean, you're either going to love it or hate it, but I mean... Uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. Other than that, you know, uh, the looks that you're going to get out there yeah. are going to be pretty good <laughs> plus uh, other than that it's a nice feeling reel now this is going to be all graphite frames uh graphite frame inside plates uh it's going to be a magnetic controller on the side here so just your standard uh bait caster here uh and i mean i kind of i kind of dig it honestly yeah yeah it's it's a unique color scheme and you know you'll be one of the only ones out there with it yeah uh, other than that we're going to be having our lefties coming in soon i hope uh, so right now we only have righties, but yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. So that's what we have for you guys this week. Uh, come by, check it out. We got lots of stuff coming in uh, this uh, next few weeks, springtime. So yeah, all yep. the new stuff's coming in. Alrighty, guys. So have a good one.